you. Time now for Ask the Expert. So today we're talking about Lyme disease. The start of fall actually doesn't mean the end to tick season. And join with us this afternoon is Dr. Jennifer McKinnon with the Medical College of Wisconsin. So the big question is, first, can you describe what Lyme disease is? Yes, so Lyme disease is a bacteria that's transmitted through a tick. And the tick has a couple names, Ixodes. Mm. It has two different last names, I won't go into that. But the bacteria is Borrelia. Mm. Symptoms of Lyme disease. Is this where it gets confusing sometimes? Yes, it can get confusing. Definitely knowing the clinical history, if a tick bite did occur, that's key. And then matching that with symptoms, because the symptoms are nonspecific. It could be fever, lymph node enlargement, body aches, joint pains, uh, fatigue and malaise, where you're just not feeling like yourself, and even a rash, which develops maybe in 50% of people, and it looks like a bullseye with a, a red central area and then clearing. And it can be very small at the size of the, at the site of the tick bite, or it can be very large. But that only occurs in about 50% of people. <laughs> not everybody gets the rash. Well, quickly, if you're bitten by a tick, do you know that? Do you know this? Yeah. I've never been bitten by a tick before. So can it be something that you don't know how? Right. It can be. Sometimes right. a scab can look like a tick because they can be very small. Mm -hmm. They can right. be the size of a pinhead um, or a poppy seed even. So you do want to take it off mm -hmm. with fine tweezers and try to get all the mouth parts out carefully. And then you can put yeah. it in a Ziploc bag and your doctor can identify it, or you can certainly go online and Google what this tick looks like. And if it's in the adult stage mm -hmm. or the nymph stage, that's when it can transmit. The larger ones that get engorged, those for sure have been on maybe longer than 24 mm -hmm. hours and would warrant treatment. Let's talk about treatment quickly. It's making our skin yeah. crawl a little bit here. <laughs> what, what is the treatment for Lyme disease? The treatment is a clinical history mm -hmm. and then antibiotics for about two to three weeks. And there's various antibiotics based on allergies, but usually doxycycline is the main go-to um, for two full weeks. Isn't the danger when it goes undiagnosed um, yeah. and it, it's in your body for so long? What can happen? Right. In Wisconsin, we have an endemic area where there's Lyme disease reported in almost every county of Wisconsin regularly. It's much like the northeastern part of the United States. Mm -hmm. And even parts of Northern California now have ticks with regular Lyme disease. So knowing that um, with your doctor mm -hmm. and having that discussion, they could offer some different blood tests to try to figure out if your condition is related to Lyme disease. Mm -hmm. Most of the time it's not, but if you have the history of hiking and whatnot and maybe a tick, it's Look worth talking it. to your doctor. All right, there it is from the expert herself. If you have a question for our experts, you can simply email asktheexpert at todaystmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail at the number you see at the bottom of your screen.